One of the cool things about the EV3 is that it can run more than one program at the same time. Uh, here's a program that will look kind of familiar. It's a program that drives forward and, and waits for the color sensor to see a black line and then backs up and turns when it does. And it bounces around inside of a circle, for example. But what if I wanted to play a song at the same time that this was going on? couldn't really do that here because most of the time the program is going to spend you know its days inside this wait block waiting for the black line so it wouldn't be able to play a song at the same time so that's where parallel tasks uh, come in you also hear this called multitasking or threading by programmer types so let's say we wanted to play a song so I'm going to go ahead and make another loop here and I'll drag a couple of uh, sound blocks into it. And we'll just play a really simple song because we're not very musical today. Now, if I wanted to play this at the same time, all I have to do is go up here until that little wire connection turns blue. Click and hold my mouse and drag down another wire. Then I can plug it in. Now, when this program runs, it's going to actually start two threads uh, going at the same time. One is going to do the usual thing inside the circle. The other one's going to play this song. So you can get as complicated as you want to here. You can keep on adding these. So let's say I wanted to have something else down here that made some other motor go. I could just go up here until that terminal turns blue, click and drag it down here, plug it in, and now I've got three programs going at the same time. And you can keep going on for a while. That uh, That's really great, except you want to be careful never to control the same thing at the same time. Like for instance, here we've got motors B and C being used, and here we've got the sound, so those two aren't in conflict. Down here, you'll notice I changed the ports to D and A, but if I'd left them at B and C, I'd have two things trying to control the same motors. The end result is unpredictable. Um, so you're probably not going to get the result you want. You'll get mysterious things happening because sometimes one thread tells the motor to go forward, then a different thread, completely independent of the first one, tells it to go backwards, and strange things will happen. The EV3 is not confused, but you'll be confused. Another interesting feature uh, that comes into play sometimes with uh, this uh, parallel task business is you can have one uh, have a block that will exit you out of a loop. Like, let's say I wanted to just go around in kind of a squarish looking thing here. So I'm just going around and around in a, in a square. And whenever the touch sensor is pushed, I want to break out of this loop and go do something else. So let's come down here and we'll wait for a touch sensor. And when I get it, I'm going to use this new block here called loop interrupt. I'll drag that up here. Let's go ahead and connect this. Go up here until I see the blue terminal light up and connect the two. Now, loop interrupt will tell a loop to break out of itself and go on to what's following. Now, typically, you'll use this inside of a loop, you know, maybe as a result of some switch statements or something. But th this is a, is a cool thing that um, a lot of people don't know about. You name each loop with its own number. I'm going to call this loop number two up here. And then down with loop interrupt, you just tell it to interrupt loop number two. That way, whenever the touch sensor is pressed, it's going to send a signal up to this loop that says, hey, stop what you're doing and exit. And then it'll continue on. The end result of this is the robot will drive around in kind of a squarish looking thing. Then when you hit the touch sensor, it'll stop. But obviously you could do more complicated things out here.